We mulligan for more Edwin. This is good. Buckening on one, Dagger on two. Swashburger Queen Edwin on three. Naga Corsair on four. This end can only get better if I get a backstab or a shadow step. And if I don't draw patches. <laughs> and if I don't draw patches. And if I don't draw patches. Doesn't matter. And don't tell me that I jinxed it. I don't believe in this kind of bullshit. There's three types of people in the universe. People like me that are smart and don't believe in jinxing and shit. People that believe that I, like that I got it jinxed. By the way, thank you for the sub flow 23 flow. And the third type of pe people are the ones that say that Ben Brode is watching my stream and like maneuvering uh, the cards I get and giving me patches to see my reaction. Ben Brode is not even following me on Twitter, so I don't think he's even watching the stream. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for the sub. Flow 23 flow. Welcome to the Romanian Salmonis. Thank you very much. Okay, we go for the Edwin. I don't think we play Naga next turn. I mean, probably we do. Ah, I'm too obsessed with the battle cry and like missing on the value. It's so hard to like get the dagger up and not use it. That's why I'm not sure if Naga is good. Like Naga is nice in this deck because on turn 2 you almost always hero power. But almost always you use that freaking hero power to like kill some things because it's so good at doing that. So I don't know. Uh, Resident Sleeper. Idea who do you look up and admire in Hearthstone? Look up and admire. Other really good players. Like my teammates Ty's life coach. And uh, other really good players. I'm not gonna name every other good player. Because if I forget to name somebody, then he's gonna get upset. But I just admire dedication in general. If some player is like really dedicated on playing like really well and improving his lines of play and always tries to like be the best in the world, then I admire that and I look up to that and I try to like compete with him. Yes, I just dagger. I can't kill it. Fuck. The only way I can kill it is Horse Rider, but that's super bad. Which team would you prefer to win Trinity Series other than your team? Error 404. I cannot process that sentence. We will win. I think I won every single team league I've played in. I won Gentleman's Cup with Meteor Makers, the one that Ponyhof was the admin of. Really good admining, by the way. Top notch. Um, and then... ATLC? And there was one more. Fuck, what should I do? What to do? The golden ears. They were not golden at all. That period sucked. I wish I had one more mana so I could like keep this. I'm trying to not draw until I don't have anything else to do. Because you that's usually how you want to do it. You wanna like apply maximum pressure and then when you run out of cards you like draw to like replenish your hand and like continue with the pressure.
This is too expensive. Side effects. No. I had to try to kill him. I have a lot of damage. I have lethal for this. I think it's exact lethal. Yeah, I have exact 18. Exactly 18. Come on. Don't play taunt. Or heal. Yeah, better healing wave at 18. Uh huh. Very nice. Mm. He had Aya in hand. He had Aya in hand, and he heals over playing Aya. <gasps> what is this? Okay. Maybe I can still win. I feel he's bored. How can he do? What can he do? <sighs> I have 20 damage, right? 20 damage. If I top the core blood, I have 24. And like I have nine it costs nine mana to play this hand. Even killing mistress is not good enough. No, it's not. Even killing mistress and rolling fucking town totem is not good enough. Nope. Unlucky. Unlucky. Wait, what? Fuck, I don't have it. It's not a misplay. If I would go with the deck and into that. Actually, yes! It would be little! It would be little! No! No! It would be little! It would be little! It would be little! No! Fudge! No! No! I didn't see that I only have one dagger charge. I'm way too tired.